It's not just building a canoe, it's about building lives. How do we lash our canoe together as a community that we may sell as a community together and work together as different cultures? It's about life, how you shape your life, uh, how, how you build your life as a canoe. Uh, my name is uh, John Miski. I'm uh, a Samoan Tokelauan. Granddad brought me here when I was six years old, uh, so I was raised up by my grandparents here in Porirua. It was a lot of fun growing up here in Porirua. We, we did lots of things as kids. Uh, we went all over the place. We walked everywhere and it didn't seem to be a problem. Uh, we even went up the farms up the back of the hills from where we stayed to pick watercress or even to take up some cardboard up there and slide down the hill. It's an absolutely good place to grow up. I went to Samoa in 2008 around Christmas. I got to meet someone who was involved with a canoe project that was about to, to happen or will take place. And so my involvement with the voyage began from there. Uh, and so uh, when the canoes were built, uh, there were seven of them that were built. I was on the Samoan canoe and with that uh, uh, we sailed around on the Te Mano Te Moana, uh, on those canoes. And I, at that moment I, I came to realise that everything that I was fascinated about with voyaging as a kid is about to happen. Back in 2003, uh, when Grandma was alive, uh, one of the things I used to do when I used to go visit her was we used to play cards. Uh, we played cards a lot every time I called in to see her. And it was one of those uh, visits that Grandma said uh, she wished she had some money. And as we were playing cards, I asked her what, were the money, what was the money for? And Grandma said uh, that she wanted to donate uh, to the Bible translation, the Tokelau Bible translation, to which at the time she was involved with. And without blinking an eye, I said to Grandma, Grandma, don't worry, I got us an idea. I'm going to go build a canoe. I'm going to go to Auckland and sail it down. Um, and whatever money I collect on the way down, that's going to be your money for the translation. That's how this project came about. That's where this, I made that promise to Grandma uh, that I would do this. The mould right now is made of polystyrene. Uh, polystyrene has allowed me to shape the design of the hull that I wanted to, to make for the canoe. And then after that, I'm going to cut it in sections, the length of this canoe. And what that allows me to do is get the shape of it, of each section of the canoe, on the length of the canoe. And for an example, this is the shape looking end on. If I was to cut it, this will probably be closer to the stern. And what that gives me is the formwork that I need in which I will erect on this platform that this uh, platform, uh, this polystyrene is sitting on, this form work. And then after erecting those uh, form work, what I'll then do is laminate the timber over the, over the form work. And it's just a process of gluing the edges, uh, tapering the edges up uh, so that it meets into a nice joint like that uh, as it goes down down the, the hole on either side. Um, and the formwork that I'll be cutting out of plywood um, allows me to nail uh, the lamination and, um, 
and to keep it there in its place while the glue goes off. When the glue goes off and it's dry enough, I'll just remove all the nails that's uh, on all the timber holding all the lamination work down. And then the idea is to just to lift the hull of the canoe off this formwork. And then you have a hull to work with. Now, I'm going to put a bit of plastic over the edge of this plywood formwork on all of the pieces. The idea behind that is that so any glue that passes through the joint when I'm gluing it doesn't actually stick onto the onto the formwork so it allows for easy um, lifting so to speak to, to lift straight off so that's the uh, my process of this uh, lamination formwork uh, for the canoe to make uh, this canoe a, a reality in terms of material um, I would need fiberglass and the resin that goes with it I would need uh, a two pot sealer to seal the, the wood, the timber. Um, I would need rope for lashing and rigging. Uh, the project would also need a, a sail. Uh, so with the sail comes sheet lines and um, masts and boom. Uh, the, the cross beams, the yako and the ama. Uh, to make this canoe a reality. Yeah. So here she is. This is the blueprint of this, what this canoe is going to look like. Um, and I did it so I would understand how, how I would shape this polystyrene and uh, everything I did in terms of carving uh, this model I just applied it to here on a bigger scale um, so this is it this is what the canoe is going to look like uh, when I'm done hopefully I can get a sail that if it's not a woven sail, uh, at least uh, I can get a woven pattern uh, on the sail, which would be just as good. We need to take care of our oceans. We need to take care of our waterways. It regulates the temperature of our climate, and, and it's like a radiator in the car. If there's no more water in the car, it overheats. The car looks going to blow up. And I think. Uh, speaking bluntly, it can happen to our planet. If it overheats, what's going to happen? Environmentally speaking, so uh, we need to take care of our, our, our blue canoe, our earth, our waters, our ocean, uh, because it's not like we really have anywhere else to go in a hurry. I also think this is a good way, uh, the project is a good way to impart that understanding to our children. Uh, teaching them not only about the ocean, about our, our traditional sailing culture, about navigation, but also about how important the environment is and, and what we do as people, how it affects the ocean.